Good evening, or morning, night, wherever this may find you. And, uh, well, I might start a bit of a an additional series, branching out into a few things. This is more real talk. A little chat, if you will. Getting things out of my mind and off my chest. And something recently that's been occurring and that I've been seeing is, um, well, it's quite ridiculous. Um, yeah. But I think it's important because it does have to do with individuality in some regard. This whole Harry Potter Hogwarts video game is... The drama around it is ridiculous. I'm sorry, it is. It's, um, it's rather petty and unfortunate that it has to happen. Well, it doesn't have to, but that it is happening. I occasionally will watch the streamers that have gained a lot of attention recently, like Silverbell, for instance. Um, Pikami, I've watched a few times. Now, I'm not heavy into a lot of the drama news, but I've been seeing it pop up a lot in the last week. And I think it's important that we all address this collectively, um, regardless of your political affiliation or whatever, because this is just wrong. To cancel someone simply because, oh, I disagree with them, or, you know, to dox them, God forbid, is wrong. I don't care who or what you are. Um, and that's what's been going on, right? Is a lot of this canceling Silvervale, and uh, I think Pikami had to cancel the stream, right, with this game. People who are streaming it getting harassed constantly in their chat while it happens. It's, it is childish, but at the same time, serious in nature, as I've said. So, a few things. Of course, I think it's wrong. It's stupid. And to those of you who are doing this, because, again, you have the trans community, but it's a small portion that are doing this. The whole community, right, they're, they're not all doing it, right? Because I've known, personally, some trans people they're good people they're you know they're in school they're working they they just want to live their life so it's not all of them i will acknowledge that but that small portion of bad apples to those that, that are doing it so this is addressed to those bad apples and bad actors you should be ashamed screw you because honestly what was what if someone was doing that to you Hmm? How would you feel? What would you do? If someone was doxing you and all of a sudden you saw your address, you saw family information openly on the internet, how would you feel? You have no right to be doing this. Because this, these streamers, more often than not, they might know about, you know, some of the political culture war stuff around the game or around a movie or whatever. But for the most part, they don't care, or they don't really know the full thing, the full context. To them, they're just trying to play a game, have a stream, spend time with their community. You know, it's their job, right? Sometimes they might be doing a charity stream. It doesn't matter. It's their time. It's their stream, their game, right? Their event, and yet. You, because, oh, they hurt my feelings, oh, I disagree with them, felt it necessary to destroy their life. I'm not trans, but as someone within the wider community, right, being in the ace community, so you can consider me an ally, I'm ashamed of you. I'm telling you, right now, this does me no good. Again, to that specific group of bad actors. To the wider trans community as a whole, 
Y'all need to gatekeep yourselves. You need to take these bad actors, identify them, call them out, condemn their actions, and either force them to stop, right, and let people live and let live, or you kick them out. Because you cannot be having this negativity. Why do you think people are so against you, it seems like, at every turn? It's because of those bad actors. Those bad actors causing this drama, bullying people, harassing. That is why other groups, both in and out of the LGBT, you know, the wider community, it's why people avoid you or they oppose you because of these small group of bad actors. So please, gatekeep yourselves. Come together and say, this is wrong. We don't, that's not us. We don't condone this, right? And I've seen some people doing that. I've seen some people who are trans saying, I don't actually care. This is great. I love Harry Potter still. You know, I've been seeing that. But it needs to be more. It needs to be a louder message. All right? Because otherwise, if you don't make peace now and just let people do their thing, then you'll never find peace further down the road. So this is a warning. I'm imploring you, please. Quit it with the harassment. It's wrong. I know y'all wouldn't want to be harassed, so don't harass others. And to the streamers that this happened to, I am sorry this happened to you. I'm sorry it did. I know, you know, I had no control over it, but I want to air my support. I know that I am a super minute fish in a big pond, but I think the more people speak about it, no matter how small of a voice they have on the internet, the greater pushback we can make. So to Silvervale, Hikami, and all the others who are harassed, doxxed, canceled, whatever, keep up the good fight. Do your own thing. Stand up to them and say, screw your cancel culture. I'm going to do my thing. Because at the end of the day, man, the right people, they'll, they'll stick around and they'll support you. They'll continue to be there and feed that positive energy. And these people bullying and harassing you, they'll eventually realize, hey, they're still playing this game. Our anger has no effect on them. And they'll eventually leave. Eventually. Will you have to endure some pain in the, in the short term? Perhaps. I mean, obviously, as we've seen. But long term, they will hopefully leave. And they'll leave sooner if we all, both in and out of the trans community, condemn them. So again, what does this come down to? It comes down to let people just live their own life, okay? Let people do what they want to do because they want to get away from the real world. They want to just enjoy a game together. They don't need this negativity interrupting that, all right? Another, you know, I've, I'm going to repeat myself a bit. Do not bully the entire trans community. There are good people there. It is just this specific, you know, like maybe 1% or 2% of them that are doing this. That's the real issue, the real enemy of this. And then a final message for that little 1% or 2%. Look in the mirror, and you need to realize something. Congratulations, you've played yourself. You have now become the thing that everybody on the left and here in the LGBT, uh, etc. community, right? What we all s strive to get rid of. You have become the very thing that we all strive to fight against. And you have become the authoritarian. Y'all have become, with your sort of moral dictating and canceling people because they're politically incorrect, they don't agree with you, y'all have become the New Age Nazis. Congratulations. Really, give yourself a, a clap, a pat on the back, because now you are 
the, the Nazis, the Soviets, insert any authoritarian dictatorship system. I mean, they're all socialists, so it doesn't really matter. You have become the very thing you swore to destroy. So much for respecting differences and being inclusive. Congratulations. But again, I want to end it on a more positive note of what I said before. We need to all collectively condemn this. Take these bad authoritarian actors and kick them out. Because we don't need that negativity. We are all going to live and let live. Are we going to say some things that offend others? Sure. But guess what? You take the hit and you keep rolling with it. I mean, hell, there's been people who offend the ace community and the arrow community. And guess what? I take the hit and I keep rolling. Others, I know, we're just like, eh, yeah, we laugh about it, we joke it, we, we shrug it off. And we keep rolling. So to those offended and so full of hate, again, that 1 or 2% grow up. Wake up. Realize what you're doing is wrong. Everybody else, help them wake up. Help them realize this is wrong, guys. You can't be doing this. And it's because, and, and, and the reason I'm saying this is I want y'all to be able to live as you want to live. But you're not going to be able to when everyone hates you because you bullied them. Right? So you have to make the peace. Or else, in the future, you'll never find it. I'm saying this as a warning because I pity the people that think this hatred and this canceling will actually win them something. So please, cut it out. Alright? And that's all that I got to say about that. <sighs> And it feels really good to say it. To put it out there. To try and, you know, let's make this peace. We may disagree, but we can move on. Right? All right. So, uh, that's about it. I'll probably make more of these chats, you know, more serious talk. But, uh, you know, just a vent. And try to make some change out there. Air my support for this stuff, man. Too many people are sleeping on this. This type of stuff. This cancel culture. Alright, so, uh... Yeah. That's about it. I'll see you around. Peace.